Good morning. I think we've got a good word for today. Do you, you ever hear about people that they're doing some renovation at their house? And it turns out like they're not doing hardly anything. And then there's other people, and I think we know that for tax reasons, they leave a part of the foundation from the house that was there. They tear it down, and then they build a completely different house on top of it. Why? Well, for tax purposes, oh, this was just a renovation. It's like, yeah, it went from a 2,000 square foot home to a 7,000 square foot home, and about less than half of 1% is the same as what it was before. So when this world comes to an end at some point, time, as we know it, will come to an end, do you think God's going to kind of do like a, a redo? Do you think he's going to make some kind of minor adjustments to this world? I mean, there is some wonderful stuff in this world, but there's also some real evil in this world. And I'll go ahead and say it. Some people think that God doesn't hate evil because he hasn't stopped evil. There's a really important word to throw in there. He hasn't stopped evil yet, but he will. And he will completely stop it. I was reading something from Philip Yancey in his book, Disappointment with God. And he talks about people that survived Holocaust. He talks about this one woman who lost two children to just a horrific disease and the suffering that she went through. And he said the worst mistake of all would be to conclude that God is somehow content to make a few minor adjustments to this tragic, unfair world. May I suggest to you, God is not going to make a few minor adjustments. Sometimes we might like that. We might, there are some people that have it pretty good on planet Earth. I, I can remember hearing somebody that lives in a wealthy town nearby here that said, I'm really surprised they put up a church here because we don't really need God. I'm like, wow, you actually said that out loud? That we don't need God? Speak for yourself. Wait till something goes wrong. But I think a lot of people are like, oh man, I've, I've pretty much got heaven on earth if I can just do away with some of these ancillary problems. You know, God is going to radically change things. So this whole idea of eternal life, I think I mentioned this in a message recently, but you know, for, for 10 years I was going to the Grove and the last two I've not been able to go, but I do go to the Birches, another retirement community. And, and it's, it's difficult because invariably people graduate, people pass away. But when I think of the people there, and some of them, I, there's one person I know over 100 years old, and they really can't figure out, like, why am I still here? If you were to say to somebody like that, oh, I've got good news for you, you're going to live forever in this facility. I think they would be, check please, I want out of here. That's not our idea of heaven. God is going to do a complete and total redo. Complete. It's, it's going to be a teardown to, to top all teardowns. There's not going to be even just a little bit of the foundation left. As a matter of fact, these are the words that the second to last chapter of Scripture re records for us. This is the vision of the Apostle John. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. Why? For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. Everything that we know, gone, except you, me, me every soul that's ever lived. And there was no longer any sea. Sorry, Thelma. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride, beautifully dressed for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Now the dwelling of God is with men, and he will live with them, and they will be his people, and God himself will be with them and be their God. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death, or mourning, or crying, or pain. For the old order of things has passed away. The ultimate teardown, and then the most beautiful recreation. The redemption of God's people will be complete, and it won't be a minor adjustment. It'll all be to his glory. Have a great day.